for her extraordinary service as a diplomat, humanitarian, and women's rights activist. Here to present the Fred Cuny Award to Emma Bonino is International Crisis Group's co-founder, George Soros. I, I met uh, Emma Bonino some 25 years ago when she came to see me uh, to, to promote the transnational radical uh, uh, party of the European Union. I considered uh, the, uh, the, the idea uh, utopian and refused to join. Uh, we have become close friends ever since. Uh, uh, we, we've been friends uh, and just about a year ago, I actually joined the Transnational uh, Radical Party and paid my dues, which, which goes to show that she is a visionary thinker who is often ahead of her time. Uh, she, since then, she has become one of the pillars of the Global Ford Board of my foundation. She was a very effective leader of ECHO, the European Community Humanitarian Office. And she was vice chair of the Italian Senate. And she would have been a very popular choice for president of Italy if the president were elected uh, by po popular vote. She is fighting a winning battle against cancer. And she is a very worthy recipient of the Fred Cuny Award uh, for the prevention of deadly conflict. And it gives me great personal pleasure to present it to her. I don't see none of, because of the lights, I don't see you, but I imagine you are still there. <laughs> you are. In any case, thank you to ICG. Thank you, thank you really. Um, when I received the letters, maybe some of you know that this is not a very great year in my life. It's a very difficult period for many, many reasons, let alone plus. But that has been one of the very few good news for me in 2015. So thank you, ICG. <laughs> really, it has been a great help uh, and a great encouragement. Thank you all of you for coming, and please be generous toward ICG. By the way, the dinner was not so bad, so uh, I mean. <clears throat> In particular, thank you to the Italian community, my ambassador, general counsel, old and new friends. Thank you so much for being here. As George said, I am an active member of the Transnational Radical Party, a utopian idea maybe, but I know that I have roots, and my roots are in Italy. So thank you for being with me, and please continue to be generous to International Crisis Group. Finally, when you receive such an award, you just have two possibilities. 
One, you see it as an award to the career. Something like, thank you very much, you know, maybe you didn't achieve so much, but we recognize that you did the best of your possibilities. So thank you very much, I mean, now you need a rest, and uh, we turn the page. Which is quite, well, good in any case, but not very dynamic, you know. <laughs> the second option is to see it as a further incentive for further engagement, deeper commitment, something more energetic, more dynamic. So after thinking a little bit, I decided to choose the second option. <laughs> so I, I decided that, you know, it's less boring to be dynamic. <laughs> By the way, we succeeded in something, you better than me, of course, which means that we can change the world. And if we can, we must try. That is the point. Maybe we will fail. So I don't want to sound too catastrophic. You will see just in a few moments that there are hopes in parts of the world, even if in Europe we are not behaving so well, right? <laughs> Slightly. Um, but but we, we can and should improve. So let's join just the forces. I will try really uh, my best, and I think that I don't want to sound catastrophic as I said, but I strongly believe that more than ever, we have the possibilities to prevent conflict, to promote open society, which are under duress and under attack, to promote human rights and specifically women rights, to try... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, you, you forgot, but women are part of the world, you know. It's um, uh, more or less. It's even uh, more than 50% of the population. So um, try to accept this, uh, this reality. And by the way, we are not so bad. We are really very effective. Thank you so much. <laughs>